Hello everybody! Welcome back to part two of my ombre application. I've already done part one, so if you haven't watched that, be sure to go back and reference that video because that is the important first step for the whole process. Today what I will be doing is applying an ash blonde shade and the purpose of applying an ash blonde over the ombre that I've already done is the ash is going to help minimize and reduce the red orangey tones that can tend to appear especially when you have dark hair like I do. Um, so when I use the term brassy what I mean is the reddish orange tone that can kind of creep up. So today what I'll be doing is using the L'Oreal Superior Preference and my shade is Lightest Ash Blonde. So I have already gone ahead and um, combined bottle one with bottle two. I put bottle two and bottle one already and I've shaken it up really really well. I'm going to go ahead and remove the twisty cap and I am going to layer my hair up as I did in the first video and I'll show you how we're going to apply this. Okay, so I've already sectioned off my hair. I'm starting with the longest length of my hair and um, I've divided it into two even sections. From one of those sections, I'm going to divide it into two like I did in my previous video. And when I grab the color, I'm going to place it a little bit above where the ombre color started. And that's just going to help to blend the ombre into my natural hair that much better. So I'm going to go ahead and grab the bottle shake it up a little bit more and I'm just going to start squeezing it onto my hair. That's why I have the trash bag on. Okay, then I'm going to just rub it in really, really well. Make sure you really rub it into your hair so that it reaches all strands. Okay, I'm going to grab the second section and do the exact same thing. Oh my goodness, I'm like legit crying over here. Wow, didn't happen last time. Alright, so I finished the lowest length and I'm going to just continue. Um, I'm going to do the same exact process on this layer and then I'll do it again on the final layer and I'll check in with you when I've completed all of the layers. Alright, so I finished applying the product all over and I took a little bit of the remaining bit and I just squirted it all over and blended it in even more. Um, I just wanted to make sure that all of my hair had been covered and I didn't go any higher than where I applied the initial ombre. So I'm going to let it sit for 25 minutes like the instructions say to do and then I'll rinse it out and I will use the conditioner that they provide. The conditioner is awesome. It really, really conditions the hair well. You can feel it after the first use. So I will sit I don't know what I'll do, maybe fold some laundry, wash some baby bottles, who knows. <laughs> um, what else do you do on a Friday night? But I will check in with you once I have the finished look and I will tell you what I think. Okay, so this is the final look after applying the ash blonde all over. You can see it might have lightened it up just a little bit after um, the initial ombre, but more so the purpose of the ash was just to keep... That would be my daughter. Eliza, come here. No, okay. The ash blonde is just going to keep the Mommy. tones neutral. Come here. Um, so I'm happy with it. This, this you could go to the salon and pay $200 for. Come here. We got this look for maybe $15, $20 max. Cannot beat that. I'm so happy with how mine turned out. And I also hope that if you all try it, you get the same excellent results that I did. And please, like I said in part one, let me know if you try it and let me hear if you are happy or not. Um, I'm excited to keep doing these tutorials with you and thank you so much for watching.